Hello everyone, it's Julie Tara here, and I'm thrilled to be launching this new podcast, Inspiring Our World, on behalf of Niken. I'll be doing this podcast every Tuesday, and as your Niken Wellness Ambassador, I'm combining my 27 years of experience as a Niken Consultant, 23 of them ranked as Royal Diamond, and my passion for empowering people to tap into their vital energy sources to live their best lives. Today, I want to talk a bit with you about hydration. Niken devotes the month of March to the power of hydration. Water is of utmost importance to our overall health. And Niken not only offers Pymag water products in the form of a countertop filter known as the waterfall, we have pioneered water filtration in a portable bottle known as the Pymag sport bottle. It's truly eco-wise and another way Niken shows our commitment to decreasing plastic waste by helping to eliminate single-use water bottles. As pioneers of the global wellness community, Niken continues to educate people on the positive effects of alkaline water, how to benefit from water filtration, and with the new Pydrogen product, how to optimize the hydrating effects of water. Niken has researched water in multiple ways, and even taking a shower becomes an experience that can enhance our well being. The Pymag Microjet Shower System helps reduce chlorine exposure and other contaminants. The nozzle releases streams of microbubbles that is so relaxing. Advanced magnetic technology helps reduce mineral buildup so the water flow is smoother and there are five spray settings. Now, I have a lot of personal experiences with all the Pymag products and I know you do too. I'll share a couple of quick stories here. One was, I remember when I burned my finger accidentally on steam from the kettle. I just did a silly thing and took the, took the top off and I burnt my, my hand, my, my fingers. Well, I put my hand immediately into a bowl of Pymag water and soothed it so fast, it really took my breath away. I knew it would have been much worse had I not done that. That was impressive. Another time, I remember I cut my finger on a, a, a chipped glass vase. I was washing it up in a rush. I was actually going to catch a plane to go to Europe and help my team. And I cut my finger on the, on the edge of it quite deeply. I did exactly the same thing. I took a bowl, filled it with Pymag water and just stuck my hand down in that bowl. It was amazing just how quickly my finger looked and felt better. I bandaged it up really fast and then went and jumped on the shuttle to go to the airport. I've had no problem with it ever since and I'm so grateful. Growing up, my kids only ever wanted to drink the Pine Mag water and also my husky dog. Kobak. He only loved to drink the Pine Mag water and I love it that our water helps animals so much, just like with people. The shower unit has helped me with softness and vitality of my skin and hair. Many of you have noticed that. It's just so, so hydrating in a whole different way. And now with the Pydrogen, well, it's helping my mind stay super alert a clarity of thinking is a fabulous thing at any age and lots of other benefits too. Speaking of age, like going backwards in age, reversing the years. I see many of us in Niken doing that. And you know, our biological age may be a lot less than our chronological age with Niken. Now the first active wellness blog for March came out this past Thursday and it's about how drinking more water can benefit us. That's not to say that we all are lacking in our water intake, but many of us really are. Most of us can be hydrated enough simply by drinking when we're thirsty. But what's interesting, however, is that some people don't really have an accurate sensation of thirst and therefore drink very little water, 
or any other beverages throughout the day. It's also common for the elderly not to notice when they need to hydrate, as the sensation of thirst decreases with age, putting seniors more at risk for dehydration. Athletes in particular require more hydration, as the physical exertion and perspiration use up more of their bodily fluids more quickly. So each individual requires a different amount of water on a daily basis. Here are some tips for increasing your daily water intake. Be in touch with how your body feels. Sometimes people become dehydrated because they do not recognize the sensation of thirst, as I just mentioned. If you are someone who rarely feels thirsty and therefore doesn't drink enough water throughout the day, drink some water in hourly intervals, even if you don't feel thirsty. You will feel the difference with increased energy levels. Here's another tip. Set a goal of drinking more water, write it down. The mere fact that you have a goal of drinking more water on a daily basis makes it more likely that you'll succeed in creating a new positive behavior. Keep a reusable water bottle with you. When you have a reusable water bottle, you can easily drink water in any setting, whether you're running errands, traveling, or at home, working, or at school. Keeping a water bottle handy can also serve as a visual reminder to drink more water. There's a bonus. A reusable water bottle decreases reliance on single-use plastic water bottles and supports the environment. The Pimax Sport Bottle not only helps decrease our carbon footprint, but also filters out contaminants from the tap water you fill it with. Consciously replace other beverages with water. Energy drinks and other caffeinated drinks contain water, but are less hydrating than plain water. You don't need to replace every beverage you usually have with water, but even one or two a day can make a difference in overall well-being. For example, a single 8 ounce 240 milligrams cup of soda can exceed the recommended daily limit for sugar. Wow, that's crazy, isn't it? Have a glass of water before each meal. Creating this habit automatically ensures you have at least three glasses of water a day if you eat three meals. Drink filtered water instead of bottled water or tap water. Bottled water is known to be tap water put into single-use plastic bottles for convenience and profit. Filtering water removes contaminants and bacteria, which improves the taste of water. Better tasting water helps us drink more of it, even crave it. Pimag water from a Pimag waterfall or Pimag sport bottle not only tastes great, but also is more alkaline and also hydrating, much more hydrating than unfiltered tap water. The bonus is Pimag water helps us respect the environment by creating less plastic waste. Incorporate foods that are high in water content into your daily regime. Here are some foods with 90% or higher water content. Lettuce, 96%. Celery, 95%. Zucchini, 95%. Cabbage, 92%. Watermelon, 91%. Cantaloupe and honeydew melon, 90%. The bonus here is these fruits and vegetables also contain vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Here's another tip. Drink a glass of water when you awaken. It will help you wake up and become alert. Even as we consciously drink more water to improve our health, being aware of how much water is used and wasted can help each of us contribute to the preservation of our global freshwater resources. In the US, each citizen uses about 3,000 liters, that's 792.5 gallons a day. Whereas in the UK, that figure goes up to 3,400 liters, that's 898 gallons. Wow! 
Water is a luxury in many countries. So as part of the global wellness community, let's strive together for awareness and conservation. In North America, for the entire month of March, we're offering four water packs. Each pack has two state-of-the-art PyMag products. You get one at the regular price and the second one at 50% off. You have your choice of two PyMag Microjet wall mount shower systems or two PyMag Microjet handheld shower systems, both of which help neutralize chemicals and then two PyMag sport bottles of 100% recyclable biogreen materials or two PyMag waterfalls that can help reduce bacteria by 99.99%. And in Europe, we're running the Waterfall Retail Sales Incentive for the next six months, from March 1st through till August 31st. Water Month doesn't just focus on hydration, but it also draws attention to our oceans, which make up 70% of the Earth's surface. It's amazing that 83 countries are more ocean than land, and yet this globally needed resource is suffering from incredible amounts of waste being dumped into it. Niken is passionate about helping to decrease our carbon footprint and our PyMag products are geared not just to filter out bacteria and contaminants, but they're also made largely of recyclable or biodegradable materials. And because they're made to last, that helps minimize plastic waste even more. More and more countries are taking action, but we each have the power to contribute by living our own personal lives in a way that helps minimize waste. You know, I'm gonna share with you, I've been an avid environmentalist since I was six years old. When I first joined my first thing ever, which was the World Wildlife Fund. I was so proud to wear my little panda pin. I changed my diet radically when I was around 23 years old to better support our environment, and I've never looked back. And I love contributing to several environmental nonprofits that I strongly believe in. We've had several blogs about what the up and coming generation is doing to help clean up our oceans. One that, was one, one that was of particular interest to me personally involved magnets. Remarkably, in 2019, a then 18-year-old named Finn Ferreira invented an effective new method for removing microplastics from the oceans. Ferreira was kayaking along the coast in Bally de Hob, his hometown in West York, Ireland when he came upon a rock coated in oil. Ferreira noticed that small bits of plastic were sticking to the oil-coated rock. In chemistry, like attracts like, Ferreira noted. He decided to combine vegetable oil and magnetite powder to create a non-toxic ferrofluid, a magnetic liquid or liquid that acts as a carrier for tiny magnetic particles. Since ferrofluids and plastics attract when in the presence of water, Ferrero would add his ferrofluid to water samples full of microplastics and then remove the ferrofluid using a magnet, taking the microplastics with it. After hundreds of tests, Ferrero's ferrofluid was able to successfully remove at least 87% of microplastics from the water samples. Since then, while pursuing a chemistry degree at the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, Fion has established a company focused on microplastic removal technology. Early tests on ferrofluids as a tool for cleaning up oil spills have been promising. But Ferreira believes that the only true way to solve the massive problem of ocean pollution is to change our consumption habits. 
Pian is part of the new generation of scientists that has never known life without plastic pollution. He and other innovative young scientists, such as Miranda Wang and Jenny Ya, who developed bacterium to transform plastic into carbon dioxide and water, are committed to restoring our oceans. They were two of the youngest scientists ever to win the Perriman Science Prize in 2016 for developing a bacterium that may transform plastic into CO2 and water. Although they were not the first ones to discover that bacteria can break down phthalates, they were the first to find a possible solution to a local problem by looking into their own river system in Vancouver, Canada when they were still in high school. The two have since won numerous other science awards and established their company BioSelection, spelled B-I-O-C-E-L-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. Clever! Years of research later, their company is still focused on taking a main type of plastic, polyethylene, and turning it into chemical building blocks for new products that don't end up in oceans as waste. The firm takes dicarboxylic acid, it generates from pyethylene and transforms it into high performance materials such as photopolymers or polyurethane. Oh well, Gosh, what a lot of information and how inspiring that these young, you know, starting as teenagers, these young men and women are really helping us with such a dire problem. And I love it that Niken is helping us too. And as we in turn share these technologies with others, we will help everyone bit by bit. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Inspiring Our World. Please remember to follow this podcast and share it with those you know and love. Let's make a healthier world together and let's include planet Earth along with the rest of us. Bye for now, everyone. Have a wonderful week.